The influence of Mr. Putin's Russia is far-reaching. The, the, there is a Swedish democratic official, a right-wing um, Swedish politician called Frick. And he was joking in 2019 with people in the New York Times about his links with President Putin. He showed them uh, a bundle of rubles and said, here is my real boss, it's Putin. Now he is the founder of a right-wing website uh, that um, promotes aggressive propaganda across Sweden. And whether Sweden has freedom of expression and tolerates this or not, um, it seems clear to me that Putin's own propaganda machine is making use of these pawns. Now, the second pawn is somebody who worked for Russia today. And that is Paludin the very person who burnt a Koran in front of the Turkish embassy in Sweden and who plans to go on a rampage around Europe burning 200 copies of the Koran. So if this stops Sweden being endorsed by Turkey as a future member of NATO, then I suppose the Kremlin's ultimate plan is uh, falling into line. But equally, the Kremlin is, reeling, is revealing its uh, reach in a very frightening way. And its influence not only on Sweden, but also on Turkey, on Ankara. And I think it would be regrettable regrettable if the if uh, mr putin's uh, influence proved to be so compelling i think it's important that story gets out i think it's important that more research is done into the kremlin links with far right movements across europe we know we know for example of allegations that the Kremlin was involved in um, interfering in elections in America and also in Britain. What was its um, involvement with the Brexit referendum, for example? The I know that um, Russia has got troll farms uh, particularly stationed in St. Petersburg, and I'm sure they'll be very active on my site again. Uh, but, you know, that's the price we pay. Um, you can tell the trolls because their English is a little odd in places. It's not just a matter of um, text uh, correct, which, I must say, plagues my own... Um, titles and uh, details. I find it absolutely infuriating that I put up a title which I think is correct and then about half an hour later I see it on, on, um, on, on the laptop or on the computer and I think that's not what I wrote. I wrote that with a, cap with a capital letter and it's now got a lowercase letter or it's got a completely peculiar name. Um, but there we are. That's the joy of artificial intelligence, isn't it? Artificial intelligence is a little bit of an oxymoron. <laughs>